Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel IIT Encoder. So, we have in the last video looked how to spawn our player, our network player, and we also included a script on it so that the player moves. So, in this video, we will be looking at how we can actually test our games when we are using multiplayer. So, how do we test our games? The first, the most easiest option is to go to file, build settings, uh, build it and then run one from the year and one from the build part or run both from the build. But what if you could actually use two editors? So, for that, we will be using a new package called Project Loner. So, you can just copy it here and then go to Unity Window Package Manager Let it load the packages Add package from git URL, paste the URL, then add it. It will take some time to install it, and just let it install it for a while uh, this is a very good option to actually test your games on the go without actually building them so you can just do window uh, there should be tools project cloner and you can create a new clone so what it will do is it will actually create a clone of your project a copy and the same directory and it will <laughs> run that alongside this project so I will try to show you this just let it load for some time uh, if your project is huge it will take a lot of time but it is worth it now you can actually open the clone project so it will open it in a new window okay so now both the clone as you can see unity ml api course underscore clone and unity ml api course both are running so just close this and i just hit play here i will start the host from here so start host our player just spawns i go here We'll hit play here. And I will start a client from here. So as you can see, a player spawns. Now, if I move the player here. So, uh, let us see if it has moved in the other also. Yeah, as you can see, it moved in the other also. And if we move this player, the center one from here. And let us see if it moved in other. So our network script, the network object, everything is working fine. And we could easily test them because of project loader. It ran just two windows. And now whatever changes we make in the source project. So let us stop the client. Let us unplay it. Uh, let us unplay this too. Yeah, so whatever changes we make here, 
will be carry forward to there so create empty test let us see if it got there oh we need to save it also so just save it i had asked to reload and test what here so we just make changes there just save them just come here click on reload and you can just run and test it so this is the best way to test multiplayer projects in unity hope you like the video please do like share and subscribe if you have any doubts do leave them in the comments